hello fam welcome back to our channel nigeria is faced with a lot of tensions right now and any little more tension from any quarter may actually hike up the polity as we speak and the fact that fulani headsmen seem to be having a few day in some part of enugu ebony and some other part of nigeria in other parts of the region but before we go into the newspaper because uh, one or two Prominent men have spoken concerning this issue of uh, Fulani Hesman and they have bared their mind without caring whose else is us is being God and they spoke their mind expressly. Before we go into the news proper for the analysis, we do like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well uh, professor soro who happened to be that's daniel young or Soro, who happened to be elected senator for benue northeast constituency of benue state and was actually uh in nigerian in fourth that's nigerian fourth republican senator who ran on the people's democratic platform he took office on the 29th of may 1999 he has spoken concerning the issue of Fulani Hesman and he spoke his mind. According to him, say Professor Osoro said, I think it's political that's the issue of Fulani Hesman. Because the question was, why is it that up to now uh, Fulani Hesman is still having a few time and why are we not looking at ranching? And he said it's more political because the president and the federal government know very well because they have all the studies available for them to practice ranching. You need, it's, it's not, they have all the available information because they have all it takes and the studies available with them. That you need ranches, ranches to be able to produce and expand your livestock population. And the simple technology to produce a ranch is that you identify a place that gives the solution to all this problem of trying to get um, uh, o o the old grazing lines that was ov over time secession have taken place and then I said they want to recreate it again and rediscover it again. He now said, look, let's go for ranching. He now said, how to go about this ranching is to identify a place, fell, the, fell down the big trees, plow it, harrow it, then you plant the grass that you want to plant and you water it and allow it to mature allow it to seed give it two or three years for the grass to grow fully so that the cattle will not finish it up the technology is there to get water to supply in the ranches you can make small dams or even sink boreholes it's easy but they're using the headsmen as a political tool regrettably headsmen have become a political tool by the present apc-led government to expand full and settlement all over the country for what reason i don't know we have been very stable in Nigeria. There have been freedom of choice, freedom of religion, and other religions have been prospering depending on the appeal they make to the people. You don't have to go and impose ethnic ethnicity or ethnic in a minority in a place that you are growing livestock. No. Let's develop the land that is available for ranching that is not good enough for other things. So they are using headsmen as a political tool at the detriment of the lives of the people in these areas. And because these people come from their own religion, they also see it as a religious problem to other Nigerians. Meiti Allah is a full and social, cultural and political organization and they have a lot of money. They have access to government at entry level, both state and federal. Majority of emirs and governors in the northern Nigeria are all, all full and extracts. And they're all full and extraction, so they can easily support what is happening in the country. But nobody is interested in the expansionist approach. They want to adopt what is they, they want to adopt which is already unfortunate wow nigerian that's it's the, the uh, fourth republican senator talking and nigerians have reacted to this i'm uncensored i'm going to you know read out what people are saying concerning what he has said he said prof you have spoken well that's impunity to the highest level prospering for president muhammad Buhari is quite unfortunate but they will definitely fail with their evil agenda this one here is saying prof you have spoken the truth the fulanization agenda is already not hidden. His, there are plans to execute it, but God himself will make it crush. They will not succeed in Nigeria. Okay, this one here is saying, Professor Saro has simply said the truth and nothing but the truth. I am not a politician, but an APC lover. God bless you, Prof. 
how many headsmen have been arrested and prosecuted to date? None. Or we all we hear about headsmen have been commit, committed the atrocities of kidnapping and uh, killing is as is they are foreign headsmen. Okay, all we keep hearing is they are foreign headsmen. Kaduna State Governor even said he had to go and give them money to stop killing. Worthy of note is the fact that the headsmen always operate without security outfit intervention. Meanwhile, people have been asked to surrender their personal weapons, which they could have used to the police. The, of, the effort of states to uh, establish their own security outfit is being discouraged by the federal government. Restructuring is the way forward. All right. This one here is saying, thanks, bro, for speaking the truth. Remember, if you lie, you die. If you speak the truth, you die. If it's better to speak the truth and die, nobody's going to die. In Jesus' name, amen. This one here is saying, oh, the dual republic is what we need. Wow. Even here, they're still talking about um, secession. This one here is saying, Watching this man's statement, you will actually understand the weaknesses of the houses in this country. They are among the original Nigerian. It's by allowing foreigners to enslave them that caused all this problem in this country. Houses fail in so many ways. Now see where they are. Where they are. Evil ones have dragged their name nomenclature and they can't come out of it again in all the generations. Mm, rather sad. This one here is saying ranching is the permanent solution to headsmen farmers clashes. It will help the headsmen to be more productive. The prof has spoken the truth. The powers would they listen and hear? Okay. This one here is saying that's just the plain truth. This one here is saying you are very, very correct, sir. They will surely fail. This one here is saying yes, prof. God bless you. This is the real truth. All the security chiefs customs take note. All right. This one here is saying, anybody that attacks this pure truth is evil. This one here is saying, God bless you for the obvious truth you have spoken. The agenda of evil will not stand. God will surely frustrate the agenda. This one here is saying, so therefore our supporters of APC are indirectly supporting headsmen, but, but quest to go and steal has stolen their right reasoning. Mm. This one here is an open secret. Thousands have been killed with no arrest. No one is a baby. There's a wicked agenda at work, which is why all the service chiefs are from the same extraction. Mm. Nigerians are really talking. This one here is saying, have you now seen where we find ourselves in? All right, that's what I'm going to take it up there. Let's look at this analytically. Let's look at this. Uh, some fortnight ago, we carried the news where um. The presidency, that's the government of the day, is looking at uh, recreating or identifying old grazing routes all over the 36 states of the federation so that they, to avoid um, uh, uh, farmers heather's clash, quote and unquote, they want to recreate those old grazing routes and ensure that um, these uh, grazing routes are now being used by the present day Fulani headsmen. Now, the question is if they are. If you rediscover them and enact them all over again and allow them to be used all over again, what about what if this old grazing youth, the route, route you're talking about, what if there are um, economic buildings on top of them? What if there are viable uh, income uh, generating uh, uh, expenditures right there? Will you destroy just because of flanny old gra grazing routes? Now, I was just thinking, what stops us from using ranching, as the prophet said? Now, you, you, you talk about using those routes. What's so spectacular about, you know, using those uh, 1935, 1842 gold uh, grazing style? Times have evolved. Things have moved on. And to, 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 for you to even do that, when you say you want to open up those grazing routes, you're automatically saying that some of these lands, uh, you're going to encroach in ancestral lands, yes. You, you're going to give, you're giving credence and special attention to a, just a little fragment, a little sector of agricultural economy, okay? We can't just be eating only cows. There are people who rear goats, there are people who rear chicken, fish. They, 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 you can't use raw pizza to people. There are better ways. We have go study all of, of these ranching practices using good technology and ap apply same. You don't need to enforce the whole of Fulan in the whole thirty-six states. Let them stay in one part of the country where they belong, maybe the northern part, and and graze and ranch and do their thing there peacefully for the for peace to reign. Nigeria already is too heated up for uh, uh, to 
begin to add this to it, it will be too much. Honestly, the unrest will not be too bearable. Let's let's we're gonna wrap it up. I feel that we should look into this issue of ranching once and for all and bury this whole issue of um grazing and open grazing and moving up and down grazing we should just look at ranching once and for all and do the needful of course so that for peace to reign let's go wrap it up let's meet in our comment section what's a take on what